G'day guys, CW here, and in this video we're going to install an Ergo node on Windows 11. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so here we are. Uh, first thing we're going to do is navigate to docs.ergoplatform.org. Scroll down on the left hand side, we have the little heading node, and then click install. So that's taken us now to our instructions. We have a prerequisite to download the Java development kit or the Java runtime environment version nine or later. So to do so, we can just open up a new tab and search for Java JDK for Windows. It'll return this first link. Follow down, uh, click on Windows, and that'll return three options. So we have the compressed archive, uh, the EXE installer or the MSI installer itself. So uh, take your pick, download, follow the prompts and install the Java development kit. So once that's uh, all installed, we can then move on to actually running the node itself. So to do so, we're gonna create a dedicated folder uh, for running the node and download the latest reference client. So to do that, we'll right click on this link, open new tab, and it'll take us to the latest reference client. For us today, it's 4.0.29. Uh, we're not gonna have to worry about any of this stuff here because that's for mining pools and solo miners uh, for EIP 27. But what we're gonna require is this jar here. So we can right click on that, save link as, uh, navigate to the C drive, and I'll create a new folder in here uh, called Ergo node for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, open that up and we'll save the jar into that folder that we just created. So that's downloaded, that's all good. So moving back to the instructions, we're gonna create a configuration file now. So to do that, we'll navigate to the Ergo node folder where we just downloaded the jar. Right click, go to new text document and we'll call that ergo.com conf and I'll just remove this .txt file extension. If you don't see that, uh, click yes. If you don't see that file extension, go to view, show and make sure the file extension, file name extensions flag is ticked. If you don't do that, you'll run into problems because you'll see the file here, ergo.conf um, as it's currently shown but in reality, you'll have .txt after that and it won't be recognized when we run our command. So moving on, we're going to copy this little bit of scripting into our configuration file. So right click, paste, and we'll now save that. So now it's time to actually run uh, the reference client. To do so, we're going to copy this command here. But as you can see the star here, we need to replace that with the version of the reference client that we downloaded. So we'll copy this command, uh, open Explorer, and to open PowerShell, we can just type in PowerShell into, oh, it's opened in the window behind me. Sorry about that. As you can see, PowerShell's opened and it's actually in uh, the folder that we require. So C ergo node. So we can paste that command in, scroll across to the star and replace that with the version we downloaded, which was 4.0.29 and hit enter. So as you can see, the node is initializing now. Moving back to the instructions, um, we have the flags here. So within this um, command, we have this little flag. So the four represents four gigabyte. Um, it's the heap size for the Java virtual machine. So it limits it to four gig, uh, four to six gigs recommended. Uh, once it's actually, the node itself is an, um, finished syncing, uh, we can change that to one gig. It should be plenty. So moving down, we're going to secure the API. So now that the node's been running for a little bit, little while, we can right click on this link and it'll take us to the Swagger. So to be actually set the API itself, we have to click on try it out on the top right hand corner and replace the string within these quotation marks. 
and for the sake of this video, we'll call it uh, CW node. Click on execute and it'll return this string here. So if we jump back into the installation instructions, you can see this extra little bit of uh, text here. So we're going to copy that and paste it into the configuration file that we've just created. And now we have to replace the string of the API that's currently in here with the one that we've just generated in the Swagger API. So this one just here. Now file and save. So now for it to be able to recognize the API, we're going to have to restart the node. So we can close this PowerShell window and then just open up a new one. Oh, once again, it's opened it up in the window behind me. Sorry about that. As you can see, we're back here in the PowerShell. If I just click up, it'll take me to the latest uh, command that we just entered. As you can see, we've got the four gig um, limit for the heap size. We've got our reference client number in here and uh, the ergo.configuration file. So we can click enter and away we go. So now that we have the API set, it's just a matter of um, initializing the wallet. So we can uh, right click on this link here, open new tab. And to do that, we can go to the actual uh, node access panel. So we follow this link. And as you can see, we're in active synchronization. So to open up the API itself, we can click on set API enter the one we just created, which was CW node, and it's opened. As you can see, we're now currently connected to five peers. Uh, we don't have a wallet that's initialized. So to do so, we can click on initialize wallet, and we can restore or either create a new wallet itself. So to restore, you enter your uh, numerics passphrase or your seed phrase into this text box here and enter um, your, uh, your wallet password. To create a new wallet, we'll do that here. So I'll just enter a password into here and we'll create a new wallet. So just as always, you're gonna to wanna to write down uh, your seed phrase and put it in a safe uh, spot for no one to be able to find. So now that that's created, we can click on close. Uh, we'll never open that and unlock our wallet. So we can just put in our password that we just entered and the wallet is now unlocked. So heading back into the wallet initialization steps, as you can see, we've entered our, um, our API key, clicked on save, it's opened it up. We've entered a new password here onto the initialization wallet. It's given us our new wallet if you were to restore uh, your seed phrase, you can enter it into that text box like I just mentioned and create a new password. Click on save and uh, you're, you're good to go. So if we go back to the, um, the node interface panel itself, you can click on wallet on the left hand side. And as you can see, we've got one address returned. Uh, its current balance is zero as it's still syncing and it's a new wallet. Okay guys, so we've initialized our wallet and the node is in active synchronization. So the synchronization can take anywhere between a couple of hours and a couple of days depending on uh, your internet speed and the processing power of your PC. So in this video, we've learned how to uh, spin up an Ergo node on Windows 11. Hopefully it's all run well. If you have any difficulties, by all means, uh, reach out in the comments below. And thanks for watching.